Here's your daily update. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi and thanks again everybody. When the president broke ground today for the new African American Museum in Washington DC, it reminded me of my childhood. I can remember signs like this, colored waiting room. Black people were told where they could wait and even where they could get a drink of water. They were even told where they could do their laundry or use the telephone. And if they went to a restaurant, quite often they couldn't eat inside. You know, all of this is pretty remarkable for today's young people to understand. And transportation was the worst. Here's a sign from the l and Railroad, separate waiting rooms. And we all know what the bus systems were like in most cities. Black people sat at the back. When Dr. King came along, there was an additional backlash among the white community. They were protesting with signs everywhere. New signs were going up to remind blacks they couldn't swim in certain places or live in certain places. Black people had their own movie theaters, and they even had their own stars. For example, Herb Jeffrey, the bronze buckaroo, and there was the Negro League in baseball. Most blacks were told to stay where they lived, in the slums, and many of them were in the shadow of the Capitol building, because the people in Congress came and went on the other side and never got to where the other half lived. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.